gathered together in this place. There's an atmosphere of joy, there's a sense of oneness, there is a, a sense of excitement. And it's not just a happening, it's just not a social occasion. There's a particular reason why we have come together here. And that reason is the focus of our prayer. And that is the birth that we celebrate of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us just for a moment dwell on that and see that we can be united in spirit. Father God, we want to thank you for this joyous occasion that you have made possible for us through the birth of our Lord. Father, we want to thank you and we want to rejoice from the depths of our being that there is hope in our hearts for new things, for new life. Father, we rejoice that this world is not the end of things for us. We rejoice that there is things that we cannot even begin to dream of and there is a beauty that we cannot even yet behold. Father, but particularly now, I would pray that we will be mindful, first of all, Lord, of our families that are far away, that we are not with at the moment, those of us who are separated from loved ones. But Lord, we would ask that you will unite us in spirit with them and stand before you and say thank you. We would think of those who are separated by wars and barriers of not of their choice. And we would pray for a unity, particularly in this country, Lord, we think of the people across the border in the north who cannot rejoice with their families here in the south. We are mindful of them, Lord. We're mindful of all the war zones around the world where there is strife, where people are in conflict for whatever reason. And Father, it is at this time of the year that we really do need to know the gift of your peace in those places. We pray for the men who guard our borders, for the nations who try to bring peace around the world. We ask that your spirit will give them hope and joy beyond what they're doing. Father, that now in our little town of Nonsan, we are thankful that we can gather together and we can worship you. We would pray, Father, for your inspiration and a sense of your presence. Father, there's not much we can do, but we can rejoice. And we do give you thanks for what you've done for us in Jesus. And now as we prepare to celebrate Christmas and what all that that means to us, we would thank you. Thank you from the depth of our being. We would ask, the Lord, that your words will inspire our pastor now to bring us a message of hope and joy. In Jesus' name, amen.